Welcome back. Absolutely flat on the Sensex. The markets have given up a bit of gains in the last 30 minutes or so. The stock which is on our radar is Sun TV. It's up close to about 6%. Q1 numbers were weak. It's unexpected lines, the lockdown impact. Uh, but the management guidance for the coming quarter seems quite optimistic. Let's hear them out when they talk about the ad revenues and the growth. In the circumstances, I think we have delivered an extremely satisfactory set of numbers. Uh, advertisement revenues, unfortunately, bore the brunt of this uh, COVID thing. Uh, I mean, that's something which is uh, inevitable. But you're right, uh, the subscription revenues have been sizzling. Same time last year, we also had IPL uh, contributing significantly to the quarter's numbers. This time around, we didn't have it, but uh, it seems like uh, we may still earn some revenues because the tournament is going to be underway during the current quarter and it'll slip into the next quarter as well. Ad revenues are now running at almost 80% of the pre-COVID levels. And uh, with a little luck, we may even post a decent uh, number for the full year because we're getting into Onam in Kerala, and then we're getting into Navratri, and then we'll get into Deepavali, and then Christmas, New Year. So if the lockdown were to, uh, you know, decelerate in terms of its intensity, and slowly but surely everything else gets opened up, I suspect there is a huge pent up demand, which will come and, you know, surprise us positively. Okay, Sun TV was up, I think, about 9% early on. It sold off. It's up about 6, 6.5 as things stand right now. Yogesh Mehta is with us. He's founder of Wheel Maximizers uh, to tell us what to do here and now. Some trading ideas. Yogesh, thanks very much. Good to have you here. What would you do? Yes, Prashant. Always pleasure, pleasure uh, with you. Um, overall, market is still consolidating between the range of 11,300 and 11,100. But what we saw on Friday is a massive selling. And this is just a pullback trailer today. But I think if we if we uh, breach below 11,100, then 10,880, is on the card. And market has already failed attempt at, at uh, crossing 11,300 today. So what I'm looking at is uh, selective stocks. And even uh, Bank Nifty is underperforming. Now it is not crossing 10 and 20 day moving average, which is around 11, uh, 21,850 and 900 level. And once it, once it breaches 21,350, then we may see a, a, a selling pressure further uh, uh, piling up and maybe 20,900 odd can be on the cards. Uh, overall on the stock specific, Prashant, uh, what I'm looking at is uh, Bajaj Finance, which was uh, consolidating between 3,400 and 3,300 uh, in between. And now it is 3,316 future segment. One can go long keeping a stop loss of 3,320 for a target of 3,440 and 3,460. Uh, the other one is uh, L&D, which has uh, given a strong breakout on Friday on the weekly basis as well as the daily basis. And now uh, quoting at around 1,000, level, uh, 1000 1, 2 level in future segment, one can initiate long trade here for a stop, with a stop loss of 980 and target could be in the range of 1,040, 1,065. These are the two targets. Uh, and on the short sell side, Bandhan Bank, uh, which is a, uh, since the start of this month, it is being Lagarde. And uh, today it is quoting around 285 from 305 initially from the start of the month. One can initiate short position here keeping a stop loss of uh, 291, uh, this is future segment, and target in the range of 272 and 270 level. Yogesh, thanks very much. Good to have you with us here, and uh, thanks for running us through those uh, trading ideas, uh, some buy, some sells. Thank you. We will take a very quick break here. Market fundamentals. Jyoti Vardhan Jaipuria is going to be with us. He's managing director, founder at Valentis Advisors. Conversation on the other side.